again, it's another uh, problem from me, a sort of a non-right angle triangle. So we've got the triangle A, B, C, and we're asked to find the length of B, C, which is this one here. Just pause the video for a long moment and have a look at this triangle and try to solve it using the sign rule, which we've done previously. Okay, you would have realized that it's not possible. Okay, and this is a situation where we have two sides and the included angle. The included angle means that the angle between the two known sides and therefore it's not possible to actually use the sign rule in this situation. So in this problem we have two sides and the included angle. The included angle means the angle between known angle between the two known sides. So here we have to use what's known as the cosine rule. Again we label the triangle the same way. So this will be side A, this will be side B, and this will be side C. Right, we want to find A, so we will write, use the cosine rule. It says A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. You just have to now accept that this is true. The rule is given without proof here. Substituting the numbers in, we're going to have that A squared is equal to B squared, which is 14 squared, plus C squared, which is 16 squared, minus 2 times b, so take, take trouble to um, put these numbers in correctly, times 16 times the cos of the angle between them, 38. Right, we can jump straight over to our calculator for this. So go into our calculator and selecting a calculation mode and then putting the numbers in. We're going to get 14 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 14 t times 16 and I want a trig function so trig cos 38 and then press enter and we get an answer of 98.971182 however that gives me a squared so I actually want the value of a so I need to take the square root of that so A will be the square root of that. So jumping back over to my calculator thing, all I need to do now is um, control the x squared, which brings up the square root, and then I don't need to type it in, just do put in the answer from the previous part. Press the arrow key and press enter, and I get 9.9484261. Write down the full calculator value and then round it off to three significant figures. So that eight will make that four or five, so it becomes 9.95 centimeters to three significant figures. And there you go, there's a the screenshot. Okay, hope you understood that. Thank you very much for watching this video.